If you're living with diabetes or are at risk of developing this chronic condition, you may have considered turning to herbal remedies to help manage your blood sugar levels. It's a well-known fact that herbs and other natural supplements can provide an array of health benefits. However, not all herbs are created equal, and some can actually be dangerous for diabetics. In this video, we will discuss the top worst herbs for diabetes and reveal the worst one ever, so make sure you watch till the end. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. It's important to note that while some herbs can be detrimental for diabetics, it doesn't mean they're inherently bad. Many herbs can still provide numerous health benefits for individuals without diabetes. That being said, it's crucial for diabetics to be aware of the potential risks associated with certain herbs and consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating them into their routine. Now let's explore the top worst herbs for diabetes, St. John's Wort. St. John's Wort is a popular herbal supplement used primarily to treat mild to moderate depression. While it has been shown to be effective in reducing depression symptoms, studies have also found that it can negatively impact blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. A study published in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2004 found that St. John's Wort significantly reduced the effectiveness of the anti-diabetic drug, glyburide, leading to higher blood sugar levels. For this reason, diabetics should avoid using St. John's Wort, Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is another widely used herb known for its cognitive benefits, such as improving memory and concentration. However, Research has shown that ginkgo biloba may cause blood sugar levels to fluctuate, making it challenging for diabetics to maintain proper glycemic control. A 2012 study published in the Journal of Diabetes and its Complications found that ginkgo biloba extract caused an increase in blood sugar levels in diabetic rats. Therefore, it's best for diabetics to steer clear of this herb as well. Ginseng Ginseng is a popular adaptogenic herb used to combat stress and enhance mental and physical performance. Although some studies have shown that ginseng may help lower blood sugar levels, there is conflicting evidence about its efficacy and safety for diabetics. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacy and Therapeutics in 2011 found that American ginseng significantly increased the risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, in patients with type 2 diabetes when combined with conventional diabetes medications. This herb's unpredictable effects on blood sugar make it a risky choice for diabetics. Ephedra Ephedra, also known as Ma Huang, has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years. It is commonly used for weight loss and to enhance athletic performance. However, ephedra has been linked to serious side effects, including increased heart rate, elevated blood pressure, and even heart attacks and strokes. Due to these risks, ephedra has been banned in several countries, including the United States. Moreover, ephedra can cause blood sugar levels to rise, making it a dangerous herb for diabetics. Garlic. Garlic is a common culinary ingredient that has also been used medicinally for centuries. It is known for its antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant properties. However, garlic can also lower blood sugar levels, which can be a problem for diabetics who are already taking medication to manage their blood sugar. A study published in the Pakistan Journal of Pharmaceutical Sciences in 2013 found that garlic supplementation led to a significant reduction in blood sugar levels in diabetic rats. While garlic can be beneficial for individuals without diabetes, diabetics should exercise caution when using it as a supplement, as it may lead to hypoglycemia or interfere with diabetes medications. Licorice Root Licorice root is an herb that has been used for centuries in traditional medicine to treat a variety of ailments, including digestive issues, respiratory problems, and skin conditions. However, it has been found to increase blood sugar levels, making it a poor choice for diabetics. A study published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology in 2011 found that licorice root extract significantly increased blood sugar levels in diabetic rats. Additionally, licorice root can interfere with certain diabetes medications, making blood sugar management even more difficult. Bitter Melon Bitter Melon, also known as Mamordica carantia, is a tropical fruit that has been used in traditional medicine for various health benefits. It has been suggested that bitter melon may help lower blood sugar levels, but the evidence is inconsistent. Some studies have shown potential benefits for diabetics, while others have found no significant effects or even detrimental effects on blood sugar control. 
In a study published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology in 2005, researchers found that bitter melons significantly increased blood sugar levels in diabetic rats. Due to the inconclusive and conflicting evidence, diabetics should avoid bitter melon until further research clarifies its effects on blood sugar. Now that we've covered the top worst herbs for diabetes, it's time to reveal the worst one ever. Ephedra stands out as the most dangerous herb for diabetics due to its numerous serious side effects and its ability to raise blood sugar levels. The risks associated with ephedra far outweigh any potential benefits, making it a herb to avoid for diabetics and non-diabetics alike. Potential Side Effects and Toxicity Though herbal remedies are derived from plants, it's important to remember that natural doesn't necessarily mean safe. Some herbs may cause negative side effects, including allergic reactions, asthma, headache, diarrhea, dry mouth, fatigue, nausea, agitation, or vomiting. Some herbs can cause liver toxicity, such as kava kava, herb misidentification. People who practice foraging wild herbs run the risk of misidentifying a plant. Some poisonous plants can look very similar to safe herbs growing in the wild. If poisonous plants are consumed, this can lead to gastrointestinal discomfort or death. It's always safest to grow your own herbs so you know exactly what you're consuming. Medication interactions. Herbal treatments can interact with prescription and over-the-counter medications. Many herbs can interact with prescription medications, leading to adverse reactions. It's important to discuss your medications and herbal supplements with your healthcare provider to avoid potentially harmful interactions. Formulas and mixtures of two or more herbs may also cause adverse interactions. So be sure to use herbal products under the guidance of a licensed professional. Weighing the advantages and disadvantages of herbal medicine. Whether you want to try herbal medicine to manage a chronic health condition or simply maintain good health, there are things to keep in mind before trying herbal remedies. Talk with your healthcare provider or an experienced herbalist or naturopathic doctor before trying herbal remedies. Do not take herbal remedies if you are taking prescription medications prior to speaking with a healthcare professional. Carefully read the label of any herbal product you plan to use to read over the ingredients list and recommended doses. Ensure the products have a certification label, such as USP Verified or ConsumerLab.com approved quality. Avoid products with misleading labels that promise to cure a specific disease. Herbal medicine is a complementary therapy and is not meant to replace conventional treatments you are currently taking. In conclusion, while some herbs can provide health benefits, it's essential for diabetics to be aware of the potential risks associated with certain herbs. Always consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating any new herbs or supplements into your routine, especially if you have diabetes. By staying informed and making smart choices, you can help ensure that you manage your diabetes effectively and maintain your overall health. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content about diabetes and nutrition. Stay healthy and take care.